everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and I get a lot of questions from folks about whether or not these $200 or less uh, Windows PCs and tablets can edit video. And the answer actually is yes, they can, depending on uh, what your particular use case is. So we're gonna be looking at this next book here. This is kind of representative of what these computers have. Uh, this one has two gigabytes of RAM, of memory, and about 32 gigabytes of storage. So not a lot of storage, not a lot of memory, at least for a video editing computer. I am running Windows Movie Maker, which is free and available at Microsoft's website. I did put Windows 10 on here. You will need, however, an external hard drive hooked up via USB. There's really no way that there is enough storage on here to do uh, everything you might want to do. But uh, surprisingly, if you're just kind of stitching clips together, it works pretty well. So I've got some footage here off of my drone. This is all 10. 80p 60 footage and I'm going to just kind of stitch together a quick video and maybe uh, send it off or export it to YouTube. I think the export will be the slowest portion of this but even some of these mix effects here as you can see I did a nice transition between these two uh, clips here and it really just does it nicely. It's not very it doesn't really slow down at all. There's no rendering going on. I remember the days when I used to edit on my uh, old Pentium 2 there was a lot of rendering for a scene like what you're seeing right there and this is uh, happening pretty much in real time so it looks like it's uh, got some optimizations on the processor that uh, allow it to do this relatively quickly. So again, we're editing HD footage here, uh, really not too bad at all. I was also surprised too that I go, if I go into the uh, visual effects here and apply uh, maybe some color change to the, uh, the clip here, let's just try that one out real quick. Uh, you'll see actually that it uh, is, well, we made it upside down. Let me go back up to the color changes here. Uh, you'll see that it can actually do pretty well with uh, some of these color changes too, very quickly also. So we're doing things like putting a blur on and everything else, and it's really not uh, bogging this computer down at all, which is amazing given that uh, we're really not paying all that much for this computer. So I think from the standpoint of stitching clips together and doing some light effects like this, you should be okay. I'm going to try one other thing here. There is a a uh, way to uh, put some titles on as well. So we'll put a quick title on uh, one of these videos here. I think I can apply it maybe to something like, there we go. So we'll put a little title in here. Maybe get the uh, pointer over to that part. I don't use Windows Movie Maker uh, generally, so I'm kind of learning as I go here. But here we go, we got a title coming over the video, which is already having uh, some color correction applied to it in real time. And it's really doing pretty well. I'm actually impressed with this. So uh, let's just do a quick uh, change of that title. Uh, and so pardon me if I play with this a little bit. I'm actually kind of impressed this is working. This is the first time I've actually tried titling with this. But as you can see, we're able to edit here uh, with Windows Movie Maker pretty nicely. All right, so now that we have some things edited together, we're going to do an export now so that we can pop this out to YouTube or share it with some friends or something. I'm going to click on Save Movie here. And uh, what I've done is already set it to uh, do a 1080p movie file. I'm just going to save it onto the desktop. And this is where the slow speed of these uh, inexpensive computers is going to become an issue. So uh, we've got about three minutes and 50 seconds of total runtime, but uh, you can see here that this uh, window is going to crawl along. So I'm gonna time how long this takes and we'll come back when it's done. All right, we're about uh, just almost exactly 10 minutes later, we got that four minute clip or that three minute and 50 second clip exported. So we can go and see how it came out here. I suspect it'll probably come out just fine, but it is, is gonna take a while to get those things out of there. So we'll just hit the uh, play button on here, make sure, yep, looks fine on this end. So uh, it does look good. It certainly uh, will you know, look as nice as it would out of a faster computer. It's just gonna take you a while to do that. So you know, here we had about three minutes and 50 seconds for a 10 minute uh, export. And if you're doing more titling and more kind of effects in between uh, portions of the video, that will certainly take longer, but it does seem to have worked okay. Uh, a couple of things that I don't recommend using a computer like this for, one would be uh, game capturing. So I know a lot of you are into doing that, uh, you know, capturing game footage for YouTube and Twitch and other things. Um, this is probably not going to do very well at that. Uh, given the fact that the processor is so slow and you have a very limited data flow coming through that USB 2.0 port that a lot of these computers have. So that's gonna be an issue uh, right off the bat. I would also say that you know higher end editing tasks like doing uh, Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere where you might wanna have like more than one video playing on the screen at the same time or doing some after effects where you're gonna do some uh, you know, high end special effects or whatever. These, these things can run that software. It's just going to be uh, as slow as a glacier in trying to get uh, those things outputted or at least rendered on screen so you can work with them. So it's not gonna be a very good working experience. But again, for doing things like we did just here, you know, minor color corrections, stitching some stuff together and quickly uh, exporting out to YouTube, it actually might do pretty well. So if you're you know, trying to get into video editing and want something to play with, 
Uh, you could certainly do video editing on here with an external hard drive. I uh, just don't expect it to perform very fast and uh, you're going to hit that uh, limit as to what it can do very quickly as your skill improves. But if you're looking for something quick and easy, a cheap computer is a good way to get started and you can certainly uh, edit video on a $200 computer. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.